back in action on the doodle bug. Uh, pretty much got it all set uh, as far as fabricating stuff. Got the um, chain tensioner set up. The brakes are welded up uh, better than before. Uh, everything's pretty good, but it's not looking too good. Uh, a lot of the stuff I welded on obviously has uh, no paint on it. And uh, other parts I had to fix on the frame, uh, ground off some old parts and things like that. Um, also, there's a lot of this black overspray. I don't know if you can see it, but it's a really rough finish. Um, I don't know what I painted. Painted something black. So, first order business is uh, going to give this thing a light sand. I'm not trying to go down to metal. That's way too much work, and it really doesn't need it because I'm doing the same color. So, I'll uh, probably start with, I don't know, I'll start with 600, see how that looks. And if I got to step it down to 400 grit, I'll do that. Just smoothing things out a little bit here, taking off some of that overspray with that grade two steel wool. Um, it's leaving a little bit of scratching. I think grade one would probably be better, but um, it's I think it I think it'd probably fill in with paint anyways. See, I'm just gonna do this. I was using some sandpaper. It was hard, you know. You you'll burn through an area on round tube, you know, since sandpaper is mostly flat. So this is getting pretty good wrap and pretty good pretty good contour here. So just keep going with this for a while. pretty good um, pretty much hit the whole thing with the mostly steel wool sandpaper in some spots I think I'm gonna go for a spray like I said I'm doing the same color anyways so it's not the it's not the end of the world I mostly wanted to get these areas that were bare metal so frame pretty much all set all right we got Paul working on his seat over here finally getting that thing ready to go and that's pretty much what I'm gonna be doing next uh, this one's got to go high density foam just sinks all the way down the wrap wasn't really good Good either, good fit. So, rip it apart, start gluing up some padding. You can see the old high density foam here. This stuff just sinks right down, gives you no padding whatsoever. There's a bunch of carpet padding, much firmer. Um, so I'm gonna have to glue up a bunch of these, probably, I don't know, maybe, I don't know, five, 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 six deep, something like that. So. Starting the process. layers glued up I think that's gonna be good enough and then I glued it to the uh, pan so next step I'm just gonna use the same turkey carver just cut it straight down the line and just try to cut the contour all the way around I'm um, hoping I left enough meat on the sides but um, we'll see Got another strip cut out here. Um, I already glued around the perimeter of this one. Make sure I didn't glue it to the stand. So what I'm gonna do is spray the inside of this and then I'm gonna wrap it around the circumference of it, the outside of it. So uh, I'm gonna spray this up and then you'll see when it gets going then I'm gonna have to trim it off. But I think it's gonna make a smoother transition from the foam to the pan.
I sewed it up. I didn't really show you guys too much of that. I have no idea what I'm doing sewing, so I have no uh, useful input for that. It came out all right. It came out as good as I'm able. The corners are not too good. Probably could put that back in the machine and round that off a little better. Um, but yeah, you know, it looks really bad now. It, it might be a little better when I stretch it, but I can't get I can't get a good uniform radius on the edges with a sewing machine. It's just beyond my capabilities, at least with this uh, material. But anyways, I'm gonna staple it up. Like I said, I might tweak that up a little bit, but um, pretty much that's what I'm dealing with. So I'll staple it up and see it'll be done. get a lot better at you know trying to pull three type stuff and sewing um, but unfortunately that's as good as I am right now it'll work good it's it's nice and uh, firm it's it's about what a stock doodle bug seat was um, so it should be comfortable it should work well uh, this stuff should hold up hopefully the seams I, I did uh, hold up I mean if not I'll just do it again it's not much it costs uh, like 20 bucks for for a yard of it and it's four and a half feet wide to actually get more than a yard um, so you know it, it's a learning process but um, for now it'll work alright here we go got the temporary spray booth set up uh, temporary lighting and all I uh, just got them hung up with some coat hangers here got the fork over here frame over here uh, it's scuffed up pretty good you know definitely didn't take it down to metal but I'm respraying the same color as is already on there so it should be good. Also, I'm going to hit the motor a little bit. The gas tank got some of that overspray. So I uh, scuffed up the top. That was a bubble there. I'm not even going to mess with that. But uh, scuffed up the top. So I'll re-hit the top and the uh, belt guard. And that'll pretty much do it for the painting. Alright, painting is complete. Frame is definitely uh, nice and orange, as is pretty much everything else in my garage at this point now. Um, paint came out alright in the gas tank, you know, this here too. No big deal, just use the uh, Dupacolor engine enamel. This stuff's pretty good, goes on nice and thick, uh, gives a pretty durable coating. And, you know, for something like this, it got plenty of sheen to it. Looks, looks alright. Had some issues with covering uh, the bare metal, I should have put some primer on it. But I had to just keep layering it and layering it. Got some runs. But um, it is a mini bike and it's orange. So that's pretty much what I was looking for. So let's throw this thing together and uh, I'll fire it up, see what we got. Finally got the doodle bug all set. Let's uh, go for the grand unveil here. Well, this is it in all its glory. Uh, it's got the new paint, the new seat. Um, you know, neither one of them are perfect, but definitely better than before. So yeah, I went ahead and uh, just kind of skipped through the whole build process of putting it back together. Um, I'm sure everyone pretty much knows how that goes. Plus, definitely I'm running low on time. I'm trying, trying to get the bike ready for tomorrow, which it is now, but busy tonight. So basically, I had to just Get it done and couldn't take too much time for recording, unfortunately. All right, that's pretty much gonna do it for the doodle bug. Uh, as you can see, it's all together, all good to go. I'm gonna give you guys a sneak peek of uh, another project bike I've had that I just kind of got pieced together. Project Gold Everything. All right, this is it. It's like a uh, DB30 or something like that. Uh, maybe a Motovox, I'm not even exactly sure. A lot of different parts here. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's a regular doodle bug uh, front fork on it. 
duct tape seat motor out of my old uh, out of my old bike or oh, GX 200 stock just with a just basic intake exhaust uh, this thing's pretty beat tires are bald pretty much completely beat but uh, I took it out on the road the other night with no seat just sitting on the metal that wasn't very fun but um it's gonna be good to go for our uh, big romp tomorrow yeah that'll be in our next video we're gonna have about five or six bikes out there in the woods I'm uh, basically just trying not to get hurt on these things there's no suspension you pretty much can't control where you're going uh, brakes hardly work so um should be a good time you guys check that out next time on the jam journal